Some time ago I uh, posted a video about the black fox squirrel trap. My initial review of the trap was very favorable. The trap is an extremely well made, high quality, American made cage trap designed to catch multiple squirrels. Over the last month I've been experimenting with this trap on a daily basis and I've yet to catch a single squirrel in this trap. I set up a game camera and pointed it directly down at the trap to see exactly what was going on. And what I found was that I had a variety of animals hitting this trap. I had uh, squirrels, I had possums, I had raccoons, I had house cats, I had birds. They were all hitting the trap, but the problem is, is that they were going onto the top of the trap. They were walking up on the top of the trap and they were reaching down through the top trying to get the bait out. And the bait that I was using was whole corn, uh, ear corn, and sometimes ear corn smeared with peanut butter. So the bait was obviously effective. It was obviously attracting squirrels as well as other animals. But they were all trying to come in from the top of the trap and they weren't trying to go through the door. So to eliminate this problem, I later placed a piece of uh, square plywood over the top of the trap so that um, you can no longer access it from the top. You had to either go through the door or you couldn't get the bait at all. And what I found was is that the squirrels were coming up and they were eating the corn outside the trap. They were eating the corn all the way to the doorway but they were stopping. They would not push the door open and enter the trap. So the next thing I did was I decided to prop the doors open with small twigs. And that way it would be a little more inviting of an entrance. They wouldn't have to push the door open. They could simply walk through the open entrance and if they touched the twig then the door would slam shut behind them. Unfortunately, they refused to do this as well. So the end result is that this is a very, very high quality trap. It's very well made in every respect. But I've yet to catch a single squirrel in this trap. Even though squirrels have been visiting the trap regularly, they simply will not go through the trap door. I don't know if this is because of the time of year I don't know if it's because they have a lot of natural food in the area so that they're not driven to uh, to go through the trap or what. But the bottom line is for fifty dollars this is an expensive trap. I can buy a lot of 110 conibears for fifty dollars that are going to catch me a lot more squirrels. The drawback of course is that when I catch a squirrel in a conibear trap he's going to be dead. And in warm weather, that means I have to check the traps early and often. Whereas a cage trap that catches the squirrels alive, that gives me a little more flexibility as far as time when checking traps, especially in hot weather. So anyway, I give this trap a 10 as far as quality of materials and workmanship, and I have to give it a 0 as far as effectiveness in my area at this time of the year. I'm going to keep this trap and I'm going to keep trying throughout different times of the year and I'm going to put it in different areas and see if I get any results that uh, vary from this and if I do I'll certainly update.